Would you like to be able to build your own Gen AI chatbots, workflows, all using a UI, not having to code things out by hand? Well, what I want to do today is show you Diffy, which allows you to build complex Gen AI workflows all within using a UI. Now, Diffy is open source, which is one of the reasons I kind of went and took a look at them. There's a bunch of other um, tools in this area, such as um, Langflow is one, Langgraph is another. I know there's similar names in there, but you'll be able to see, you'll see a lot of tools out there that are offering now this UI experience. Well, in my day job, I was kind of trying to set up a workflow using one of these UI experiences because one of my customers had asked for it. So I thought, well, why not just make a video kind of sharing what I found about Diffy AI? This is not going to be a walkthrough of the entire platform, as you can just see from their initial piece. There's a lot to it, but I just want to give you a little bit of idea of kind of how I used it and kind of what I thought about it um, in my process. So what I was trying to do is I had a very particular problem. I wanted to take our contextual AI RAG agent, which has an API where a question comes in, we answer it, for example, here using the RAG approach, and then we can pass that output somewhere else. Now, what Diffy allows you to do is build these types of workflows all through a UI. So if we look at this workflow, I just want to kind of give you a sense of like how this all works and how we these things connect. So you can see here, I'm starting with a place here where I can ask a question and that question gets a string variable, the query here. And then this, I drew this line here and connected it to this next block. And in this next block, what I have is it's taking that initial query in. And then in this case, I'm using it for my API that I have for contextual to be able to go and get a response. Now I've set up this block here, which has the output that holds kind of my response piece. I can then build another block here that looks at this code and you'll see here it comes in from that earlier block where it takes a look at the body. I end up parsing it out because I need to parse out the um, just the content from a larger string. But here you can see I've used a code block right before I was using a different block and then I can kind of show the answer. So that gives you a, a simple idea of the workflow, but you can have blocks for lots of different things. In this case, I was using an API in code, but there's already blocks set up for working with large language models, starting to do logic conditions like if else. So hopefully it's the same thing that if you're a coder, if you're a developer, you would have access to all the time. But the idea is we can have a UI framework for folks that want a UI, or if you need to share this out with the team, they don't want to look at the code. There's a lot of blocks here. For example, here's a template around kind of Jenga document extractor to extract. And what you can do with this is build much more complex workflows. In the tools here, they give you lots of example workflows. Here's one that does the notebook LM, right? The idea of, hey, I have some input that comes in. I want to be able to build an audio podcast based off that. You can see there's a start here that has information that you would kind of submit in. Then it walks right through. It goes through, it takes that document, analyzes the input. And here you can see we're using and working with different prompts for these large language models. And you can see there's a sequential piece here that's coming and going through that process to that final output. Now, if you want to modify these at all, it's very easy to modify. You can just take that, kind of throw that off. You can easily kind of draw the connectors between things. And again, inside the code, you'll be able to refer to them as particular um, variables like that. So if you explore, you, it's free to jump on and try this out. You'll see they have lots of different apps here. All of these examples that they have here with this, you can see the existing flows for being able to do this. So for example, I showed you earlier the notebook LM. Let's look at the, this is a patient intake chatbot. If I go ahead and kind of add it to the workspace, I'll be able to see the actual flow here for how this is set up. And this is of course, kind of a much more complicated one with if else. 
But if you're somebody that likes the UI experience, I would say give Diffy a try. There's others, again, out there. Um, Langflow is a popular one. Langgraph, or from Langchain, have introduced a new platform. One of them is a UI-based approach for agentic workflows. Now, there's a bunch of other ones out there. I say experiment, see what works um, best for you like this. Now, if you use one of the ones that it's been around for a year or so, the nice thing is you can use the tools like Claude and ChatGPT if you get stuck. So here, I'm literally showing you like, as I go through this, sometimes I'm like, hey, I don't know what I wanna do. Like I literally will share a screenshot and maybe the code and I will ask ChatGPT, hey, how do I do this? And because this has been around for a little bit, it will help me diagnose and decode this. So this was useful, even though it was a UI based approach to be able to figure and put all that stuff together. So if you need a little bit of handholding, you like the UI experience, jump in, I'd recommend it.